there's no one way to write a log line. No one way. I, I tried to give you, I gave you guys some formula ideas of how to put them together because it's kind of general. Um, and, and there's specific information that you want to really convey within that log line. But that log line, remember, two reasons that we have the log line. Excite somebody and get their interest. Ooh, I can't wait to read this story. You want that reaction and you want to keep yourself focused in writing. So sometimes, especially in television, when I'm writing like pilot material or something like that, I always keep that log line right on my computer to keep me focused because it's so easy to get lost. Because in a television series, you're dealing with a lot of characters. And, every, and while you are focused, every scene has a different purpose, the overarching uh, uh, journey of the story has to maintain that log line. So even in your short, and say in a 10 minute short, you still need to keep that log line on point. You need to know exactly where you're going. So in the log line, remember, I want to understand what the genre and tone is. And there are, there are ways to do that. That's going to be with the words that you use, right? The language that you use, the phrases that you use, the way you describe a character, the, the verbs or the adjectives that you use, and the goal. Does my character need to make amends with family members? Oh, that's a very different goal then. My lead character wants to uh, stop a lesbian wedding from occurring. And depending on the words I use, that, that woman who's gonna stop that, that lesbian wedding from occurring is going to be really funny because of the type of character I use and the words I use to describe her and the language I use in it. But it's very different. So character names, real quickly, the only time you really need to have a character name is if you're looking at a historical figure, uh, and you're writing a story about somebody, and that's perfectly fine to do. I'm gonna read you this one uh, log line here. It's from a play called The Mountaintop. Uh, this story explores Martin Luther King Jr.'s last night on Earth, set entirely in room 306 of the Lorraine Motel on the eve of his assassination in 1968. Really great play. And it's a play, it takes place in one room, and the next morning he goes out and gets shot in that parking lot, right? And it's very powerful. It's called The Mountaintop, if you ever feel like reading it. Um, so that would be an, an example of when you would use a specific character name. Most of the time, just the type of character. Our brains have this really unique way of creating, creating stories off a few things. So you, I can give you just a few words. There's a dinosaur outside and he's trying to get into the building. And then your brains are all gonna go crazy like, oh. Oh, I want to go see this dinosaur. I've never seen a dinosaur. Okay, which building? Where's he coming in? Okay, how do I do? I get out of here? Should I stay and watch? Do I need to warn anybody? Like all kinds of stuff's going to start happening just off that little bit. So you give me a log line, and all kinds of stuff's going to start happening in my brain. I'm going to start creating a story around it. When we write these log lines as well as the stories, we are. It, it's our job to use the right words in the right order to create the impact that we want. We are trying to create an emotional experience in our screenplays with words, and it's all technical, about how we put it all together. If you give people too much information, they try to cling to that, and then they try to build that into the story, and it's too much. You get focused on one thing, you can't see big picture. So if you try to give me too much little information, I'm gonna go, whoa, whoa. We're painting a big picture with the log line that's engaging and interesting. And then we're gonna be able to give them a lot more information in the story. It, when you're writing these, use present tense. All right, I'd say write everything in present tense. I don't think I have your log line in front of me. Can we, Kate, can you unmute yourself and, and say one of your log lines for us? So Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, in order to stop her lesbian daughter's wedding, a traditional cranky 90-year-old Catholic must make a three-day drive with a liberal no-holes-barred Jew the mother of the other bride. It's one hell of a road trip. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Kate's been working on her log line, right? Figuring out where we're going with that. So you, you can see instantly, you guys laughed, and that's what you want. If you've got a log line that makes you laugh, that you know we're gonna see a comedy. And we've got these two very disparate characters, right? You've got the traditional Catholic woman who's outspoken or whatever she, you know, what that is, cranky, outspoken, um, and, and she's going to stop that wedding. Yeah. So it gives her the goal, it pushes the, the action of the story forward, we keep moving forward, we know that we've got a goal. That means we don't have an inactive protagonist. Mm -hmm. 
kiss of death, inactive protagonist. Get that goal. So, and now she's up against, for this comedy buddy film, you know, her complete opposite. Because that's how it always goes, you know, you have to have your opposite. So for that type of film, we needed these two very different characters who are going to play off each other. They're gonna give us a really fun time as they challenge each other. And then, you know, whatever that climax is, the big event, um, all the little lessons that, uh, that she's learned along the way show up in that moment uh, at the wedding where she's going crazy and pulling stuff apart and screaming and saying, it's never gonna happen over my dead body and maybe she had, fakes a heart attack. I don't know, you know what I mean? But all this stuff's going to happen. And um, because her journey, really, her outward journey is about stopping the wedding, right? But we all know that her, that the, that the, in, that the need, her inner journey is about learning empathy and compassion and understanding, right? Because you know she loves her daughter or her granddaughter. She, already, she loves that child. She's just got this whole POV of the life that she's lived that's standing in her way. Yeah. In that log line, we know that she's got this goal. We know that she's got to overcome uh, this road trip with this person who is totally different than her. Um, and they're going to be battling it out. And you know they're going to fight and she's going to want to walk away and she's going to try, she's going to try and catch a bus. She's gonna try and uh, hitchhike. Who knows what grandma, what the, this mom, this 90-year-old woman's gonna do, right? Everything to get away from this Jew, right? And this Jew is probably gonna go crazy too. Um, and she just happens to be the mother of the bride. And that's gonna be all set up in the first act at why they have to take the, the ride together and why they're stuck together, et cetera, et cetera. I'm ready to watch it. Right? right, I know, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we just had to have that goal. Tone and genre we talked about. Make sure you convey that in, the, in your logline. Is this a mystery? Is it a science fiction story? Is it a drama? Is it a comedy? Is it a rom-com? Is it a buddy story? Is it a black comedy? You know, that's all done by the choice of words you use, the phrases you use, the way you put them together. Um, in in, in uh, Kate's logline, she used, it's gonna be one hell of a road trip because that hell plays off of the Catholic and the Jew ideas. We know that they're going to go, like this is, these women are gonna go through hell to get to the end, and it's a road trip. That like little tiny tagline, that could be a perfect tagline. It's gonna be one hell of a road trip. Uh, yeah, like on the poster, that would be perfect. Um, and then you show like, you, you've got your little visual clues as to we've got a Catholic and we've got a Jew and we've got you know these people who are gonna have odds. So be very specific about the kinds of language you use, the words you use, it's super important uh, in creating that visual. So we also want to convey a goal. The goal is really important because it tells us that we're, what kind of story we're going on. And again, it helps convey the tone. Are we making amends with family members? Are we trying to stop a wedding? Are we trying to get home in time for Christmas day? Are we um, trying to stop the world from blowing up? Are we trying to stop the asteroid from hitting Earth? Are we just trying to get a bouquet of flowers to the girl that we have a crush on? Are we trying to get the car back to the house before mom gets home? I keep building in these like little time constraints because that's really important. Think about that. That puts the pressure on. You're gonna to want to apply that into your whole story anyway, but if you can fit something like that into your log line, even better. This lady has to go stop the, the, the wedding of her daughter. She's got three days to, but first she has to get through a three day road trip you know, with her arch nemesis. So we know, we've got three days, the pressure's on. If she doesn't meet it, what are the stakes? What are the consequences? So that's built in. So when you put that, you apply that, um, that, uh, that kind of time constraint we're going to be sensing what the stakes are. So you get to build in the stakes or the consequences of the hero not achieving their goal. And a lot of it will be implied. If mom doesn't stop the wedding in time, well, what's at stake? She's at stake, mom's at stake. Mom's the one who will lose, right? She thinks she's going to lose her daughter to hell if she doesn't stop the wedding in time. But what she's gonna do is she's gonna, she's, she's going to ruin the relationship that she has with her child, right? That's what's really at stake. And we build that in because at the, at, it's the heart of the story, and I want you all to think about what the heart of your story is. It's the thing that 
That heart of the story connects us emotionally through the story and to your characters. And it's what makes it, that is what makes us care about these characters and want to see this story. Sometimes there is a stake character, and that's the person who, like in a big action film, uh, they've kidnapped my kid. I've got to save my kid. The kid's the stakes character. So the hero stands to lose their child if they don't achieve their goal. But we all stand to lose something at some level if we don't achieve the goal. Uh, I watched a film recently called Pig. His, his companion, the thing he loves most, is his little truffle hunting pig. And some creeps show up and steal the pig. And he's going to get that pig back. And that's the story, right? We wanted to follow him on this journey to get his pig back because we loved that pig. And we loved, that, we loved him for loving that pig. So the heart of the matter, that connects us to your characters. Right now, for Kate's story, um, we love that there's comedy. The comedy will hook us, okay? Even if we don't know yet if we like the characters, we certainly don't approve, most of us aren't going to approve that her goal is to stop the wedding, okay? But we know that she's going on, that mom is going on an emotional journey and that she's going to, she's going to grow. We know that. And we know that she loves her daughter because she, if she didn't love her daughter, she wouldn't be trying so hard to stop the wedding. Right? So we're going to go on this journey because one, it promises to make us laugh. I'm laughing, I think it's gonna be funny, I'm hooked. I think this mom really loves her daughter and I can't wait to see the journey mom's gonna take and the growth. And you know what, I know at the end, I'm gonna cry because there's going to be that emotional connection between mom and daughter. And that's gonna get me right here. So think about how, what the heart of your story is and see how you can build that into your log line just that little bit. I mean, I think, I think probably far deeper about these things than most people, but I know that when people read this stuff, it, somewhere subconsciously, it resonates with them. Following the death of his brother, an alienated teen attempts to connect with his mother and work through his guilt and loss. What kind of film is that? Drama. Way lots of drama, right? I mean, we've got alienated teen. That's serious. It, it, there's nothing funny about this log line. It's definitely not a comedy, right? He's trying to connect with his mother and work through his guilt and loss. That's a lot of heavy stuff. That, his goal is an alienated teen attempts to connect with his mother and work through his guilt and loss. That's his journey of the story. That is his goal. He wants to connect with his mother and build that relationship. What does he stand to lose if he can't, can't achieve his goal? Yeah, his relationship with his mom. And that's huge, right? The loss of that, that relationship with a, a parent. So here's, let's see, I've got another log line. A man wants to repair his relationship with his ex-wife and teenage son after he is diagnosed with terminal cancer. Not a great, not great wording, but what kind of film is this? It's definitely a drama, yeah, right? And what's his goal? Survive. To build the relationship, repair the relationship, yeah. right? Just know what's at stake if he doesn't achieve his goal. Never having that relationship with the son. Dying without being able to hear his son say, I love you. Like, that's truly what's at stake. Or knowing, or even letting his son know how much he loves him. So there, is, there are consequences and stakes. Think about those. Um, I wanted to give you this pro tip that the goal is just a MacGuffin, and a MacGuffin is, is a trick. The MacGuffin is what Hitchcock calls like the thing that we're after, right? The goal, the thing that we're after. We need to get that. We need to get those diamonds. We need to get that car. We need to get that, the map. That's always the MacGuffin. That's always the goal. It's there to lead your character on a journey. So that goal is responsible for creating a journey that allows your character to grow emotionally. Create that goal in mind with what you want your character to, how you want your character to grow. So Kate's mom trying to stop that wedding, mom has to grow. So think about that, because it should be the, uh, that, that challenge should help your character arc. So, Let's talk now about character real quick. Character determines everything. 
So when you understand who your characters are, why they do what they do, the way they think, that will dictate every action they take. Plot is action.